So Nancy Pelosi just did something that, <clears throat> in my opinion, is probably the most despicable thing she has ever said and done. And I know that's hard to say. I don't want to overhype this. But what Nancy Pelosi said today is despicable. Her political posturing is despicable. I want to play this and I want to explain why I think this is so horrible. But before I do, make sure that you subscribe to the channel and hit the bell for notifications so you can get more of these updates. Okay, let's listen to what Nancy Pelosi said and I'll explain why this is so terrible. Yes, sir. One of the issues that the minority leader is talking about has to do with... Um... He believes that compromise could take place within the next 24 to 48 hours, but if it doesn't, the Republicans are willing to stay and work this out. One of the questions take it out, the, the, the families have needs that I just described. Uh, we've made the proposal, which we started on Sunday and put out there, uh, we're listening to governors, mayors, uh, nonprofit organizations, to, uh, educators and the rest. This is what families need. They made suggestions to the language. We're making, um, uh, agreeing to most of it because they're not, they're not that different. So we don't need 48 hours. We need to just make a decision to help families right now because we have to operate made. not as business as usual, but in an emergency status where we have to get the job done. But if the decision isn't made, Doesn't will you happen. stick around? I'm not sticking around because they don't want to agree to language. We're, we have, we're agreeing to much of what they have to present. Look, first of all, Mitch McConnell called me and said, you work with, with um, the secretary, that's it. Now the House Republicans are saying they're not in the loop. Well, no, we sent them the language. It's not about that. I mean, it's about putting people and families first. So, I mean, everybody could have a complaint about this or that. I said, save it for another day. We can have an after-action review about how we got into this situation. Save it for another day. Right now, we have to find our common ground, work together to, um, uh, to get this done as soon as possible, because we have other needs. We will have to address this issue further. And it's some things that they might want in this bill that aren't there. There could be another bill shortly down the road. We didn't do everything last week with 8.3 billion dollars but we did a great deal and now we're doing more and then we're okay so i'm just going to cut that off there what pelosi is being asked is whether she and house democrats will stay in washington dc through the weekend to hammer out the compromise with republicans over a coronavirus stimulus plan to stimulate the economy and to um patch some of the holes that she admits were in the bill that they passed last week the eight billion coronavirus response um spending bill this is why this is despicable and i know w watching that it doesn't seem all that despicable but nancy pelosi is a calculated political being she's being asked if she will work with republicans to come up with a bill that both sides agree on and what she's saying is that democrats have submitted the bill and it's a take it or leave it offer that if Republicans will not vote on their bill as is, she will take her caucus home for the weekend and they can try again next week. Let me just explain why she's doing this. One, she's an asshole. We all know that Nancy Pelosi is an asshole. Two, this is about politics. I watched Joe Biden's speech today. I'm gonna do a video on that. They're, the left is claiming that this isn't about politics, but they are licking their lips at the prospect of being able to go up against Donald Trump in November with a weakened U.S. economy and a country reeling from a pandemic. They would love that because they know they will not be able to beat Trump any other way. So what Nancy Pelosi is ensuring is that either her party gets exactly what they want, and make no mistake, it's chock full of pork. It's chock full of Democrat pet projects, paid uh, sick leave. That's, Democrats have been trying to get that for ages right? Paid childcare. I have a kid. He's in daycare right now. I would love paid childcare, but that doesn't mean that the government should have to pay for it, right? And these are, these are debates we should be having, but that's the point. These are debates. It's not just her way or the highway. So th this bill is chock full of Democrat pet projects, social projects, social um, welfare projects that they've wanted for decades. And now they have a chance to push it through and they don't want to risk any of it being taken out. So if Republicans don't pass their bill as is, 
Pelosi and the Democrats go home for the weekend and they can try again Monday. What does that mean? That means that the stock market will continue to fall tomorrow, Friday, that the futures over the weekend will continue to fall, and that the stock market will open lower on Monday because there will be no stimulus. She is maximizing the pain on this administration. It's, it's disgusting. It really is. If Nancy Pelosi actually cared about the country, cared about her constituents, she would, she would not go on vacation. She'd not go home and she'd stay in DC and hammer out a compromise that both parties can agree with. She controls one half of one branch of government. And she's going into this coronavirus and saying, my way or the highway. She's saying, if you won't give me exactly what I want, you're getting nothing. This is exactly what she said in the lead up to Obamacare, right? She's saying, pass this and we can have an after action, um, and, uh, or we can have a, a, a debriefing later to figure out what we shouldn't have done and what we did and, and what we need to do more, right? When, with Obamacare, she said, we have to pass it to know what's in it. She's demanding that Republicans do the same thing now and saying, even though you're not going to get what you want, we can maybe do that at a later date. This is crap. This is absolute crap. Nancy Pelosi is playing politics with this. She's playing politics with stimulus to stimulate the economy and prevent the stock market from crashing even further. She's playing politics with the coronavirus response. And she's playing politics with people's livelihoods. This is BS. This is BS. She knows what she's doing. This is calculated. And she knows that no matter what, if, if she stays this path, she gets exactly what she wants or she gets to hurt the president and the Republican Party. I'm so sick of this. I'm so sick of the politicization of this. I'm so sick of people like Biden and Pelosi going on and on about how they need, how we need to be a, a, a calm, respectful people, rise above politics. And then they use every single news story at, to blow it out of proportion, make it a crisis to be able to hurt the administration. I just watched Joe Biden do his speech. He said, we're not going to make this about politics. He lasted, what, all of 30 seconds before he started going on and on about how Trump was failing the country. These people are disgusting. They are absolutely disgusting. If When we get through this, we should drag each and every one of them out of Washington, D.C. By their hair, if necessary. Because this woman doesn't care about any of us. This woman only cares about getting her own agenda through and making Republicans look bad in the process. So let me know, am I off base here? Because I, I sure as hell don't feel off base. I've watched this woman for years. This is political calculation. Let us know in the comments below if you think we're off base. Um, but honestly, I don't think I am on this one.